Um, Jim, if you just um, unmute yourself. You... Uh, yes, victory. Am I here? Yes, you're finally here. Fantastic. Great. Hello, Jim. It's nice of you to come by. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, so um... I'm very excited about our debate. That worked exactly. I think it couldn't have worked better. Like, what's can you uh, turn your mic up a little? I can. turn it up. I, yeah, I, I think this was well. I was discussing with this logic guy that uh, I think it's probably using my computer microphone because it's using the web browser because Discord was not accepting the. It's yeah. It's 14 minutes of boomer tech. So if I sound like shit, that looks like what we're stuck with. Should I scream? No, no, you're, you're good, you're good. We'll just be deprived of your uh, professional radio well, quality voice. What, I'll, what I'll do is I'll turn the user volume up a little bit, okay? So you're going to be slightly higher on the Discord end. So if you just... Be, better? Yeah. Is everyone happy with that? Hold the Hello? <laughs> okay, yeah, right, I think we're good. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just, um, just have a, a brief sort of explanation of what's going on here. Um, so essentially, this is a, um, a debate between um, Logic Guy and Jim Goad. Um, the point of contention is, is Jim Goad a white supremacist? Um, Logic Guy will be arguing in the positive, and obviously Jim Goad will be arguing to the negative of that point. And there is a pre-prepared statement that I'd just like to read out that has been approved by both parties. Is that correct? I, I quibble with a couple things because uh, you were describing him, I guess, like in my voice as a cuck degenerate. These are the I don't use those type of words. I actually wrote an article called well, "Defensive Degeneracy," but if you know, if anything stands out when you read it, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> right, so tonight a rumble between two of the displaced refugees from Portland, Oregon. Jim Goad is a noted counterculture figure, and in his heyday was the figurehead of a weird satanic rat pack of the 90s. He wrote and published one of the mainstays of 90s zine culture, Answer Me, as well as some books, The Redneck Manifesto and Shit Magnet. Tonight, he's defending his good name against the smears of the anonymous commie cuck degenerate who called him a white supremacist. Prepare to have your balls retract up to your throat when you realise you got in way over your head. Welcome... Jim Goad. Jim Goad. And your pronouns are he, him. Is that correct? Hey, Jim. You, you there? Hey, Chad, you're there, right? I'm, I'm still here, yeah. I'm just waiting for confirmation on his pronouns. Is there a reason? I, can you hear him? I can't hear him. I can't hear him, Jim, anymore, no. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. This has this has killed some momentum. I will be honest. This has this has like you're like ready. You're like ready. You know you're in that like game game state. And now I'm just like okay, all right. I'm just, I'm wait. I'm in the waiting room now. Okay, look, let's continue. Um, and playing our heavy for the night is the infamous lefty shit poster. His antics have been covered by the Young Turks, Majority Report, and even Infowars. He's gotten Dave Rubin and Charlie Kirk really mad. In addition to calling Jim a white supremacist, he also says Jim was kind of cool before, but is now a cringe boomer who sucks balls. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend, Logic Guy. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, Jim, did we lose you? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm fairly screaming. You're screaming? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, you know, this we had this little spat over whether we should use Skype or not, and you said no one uses it. But God, I've never had these problems before. Maybe this is it's it's all too complicated and technical for me. But if I can, I'll I'll continue like basically shouting like I am now. And if you can hear me, we'll 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 soldier on onward. Yeah, that's all right, that's man. fine. So um, right, I think you know we don't need to have any sort of five five minute laying out of the positions. Well, I guess we can just get get straight into it, right? Yeah, um, okay. you want me to just uh, like like I I got a statement that will like kind of like sum up our, our our beef. You want you want me to uh, um, start? I'd like just before I do, I just want to say um keep it clean, nothing against terms of service, no sort of slurs. Let's keep it. Well, can you can you uh, tell me what the terms of service are real quickly? Like um what, what's it's quite difficult to sort of lay out exactly, but um basically um anything I, I you know to err on the side of caution, things like the N slur, the S slur. Um, things like that tend to go down quite badly with Twitch. So just, just um, the don't... one referring to a uh, feces. What the F slur? You said oh, F F the okay uh, the uh, one for uh, human copulation. Uh, yeah, no. no. 
It's, it's another no. word for a bundle of sticks, oh, okay? Let's put it that way. The homosexual one, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, let's just not use any slurs. Yeah, let's, let's just, let's yeah. Just At the that. end of the day, we're all adults here, right? So I'm pretty yes. sure that you can have a debate without re resolving the slurs. Like, let's, let's you know, it's it. just, yeah. I'm just trying to gauge what this, because, you know, being ancient, the slurs used to be completely different when I was a kid. Uh, but I now you can, you can freely use all of those. I mean, my mom, I mean, she wouldn't talk to you for a year if you said fuck. But I'm guessing you can say that. You can you yeah. can use swear words, but what, what if you what if you use the other f word? What would your mom do then? Uh, I remember her. We were driving near this little shopping oh, no. center. Okay. He was All saying, right, I don't know. No, she did. She said, like, I don't know why they. They don't like them. That's that's all I remember her ever saying about the the GQ. I, I, okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm going to uh, I'm I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay out my case. All right. You go ahead. All right. Webster's defines white supremacist as a person who believes that the white race is inherently superior to other races and that white people should have control over people of other races. I think Jim meets this definition. Jim has spent the last 10 years writing for an alt-right publication called Taki Magazine, writing about topics like the JQ, the Jewish question, and race realism. Two of his recent articles, Race So Much More Than Skin Color from this January, so just last week, contains the claim that the brains of Negroids, a word he uses, are smaller than the brains of whites. And I'm and quoting somebody there, I think. Go ahead. You, are, okay. you are quoting them, but you, may, you are if quoting that just, person If we can let Logic Guy finish the say? initial uh, statement and then you can respond, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Negroid are smaller than the brains of whites. And the, the ultimate JQ, religion or race, June 17th, 2019, where Jim defended Hitler's passage in Mein Kampf about the big lie, which he calls the perennially misunderstood passage. This is a passage that refers to the Jews' unparalleled capacity for lying and claims that the Jews orchestrated Germans' loss in World War I and tried to blame it on the German general Ludendorff. So yeah, I think if you write about blacks having small brains and defend mind confident alt-right publication, then it is at least fair to describe you as a white supremacist. At the very least, you can't get mad if someone says it. Take some responsibility. It's not a matter of getting mad. It's like, here's the thing, though. If you're, if uh, well, you're done, I, I I'll let you, I'll let you say everything thing. you want to say. I can't say, wait right? to hear the thing. At the very least, you okay. can't get mad if someone says it. Take some responsibility for your writing. Well, there's, but, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show why you haven't made a case at all. Just let me know that you're done. All right. Okay, you're done? Good. No, I'm okay. not. But wait a minute. A white supremacist is someone who believes that whites are the superior race. How can you prove what a man truly believes? Can you really know anyone else? The answer is yes, you can. Every one of us passes judgment on the inner mind and intentions of others every day. If you've ever called another person a liar, you've claimed to know their inner mind. You can, be con you can even be convicted in a court of law based on your mindset. First degree murder means that you premeditated the murder. So yes, by the normative sense of the term, I'm justified in claiming to know what Jim believes about other races <laughs> based on his writing. Wow. The reason Jim doesn't you, just come out and tell you that he that he himself the reason Jim doesn't just come out and tell you this himself is that that he's a white supremacist is because he's a coward. He lacks the courage of his convictions. Instead, he hides behind snide word game. Like most people who claim they don't care what anyone thinks, it's a brittle facade. That is my case. So just get it all out. That's it. That's my case. Okay. So I I'm, I laugh toward the end there because you dragged the mind reading fallacy in there that's great here's what i responded to that you wrote on twitter huh? and i didn't read the thread so some of this is going to seem out of context can Jim i ask Goat how you found the thread in the first place okay now he's interrupting me can you please moderate uh, i'm sorry i asked him if he was done okay yeah, yeah logic you just chill to let, um, to let, let jim respond okay i apologize just jumped right in there jim go jg is in the hill of beans is what he wrote but is it reasonable to compare the personal beliefs spelled it wrong of an individual to the actions of a war machine. When white supremacists, comma, comma's unnecessary, they're like go, comma, it's not in a positive, held the seat of power. The death and destruction have in, have, and then the word been is missing, have been, I'll put that in there for you, incalculable. Okay, so the, the two examples you use for proof that I say whites are superior to other races and should rule, well, you never even made any case for the second thing, should rule over others. You, you didn't even bother, because so you failed just on that. But okay, so okay, race much more than skin color. I was quoting people who have measured brains. And the Asian brain is the largest. The Asian IQ tends to be the highest. That's Asian supremacy, sir. 
Jesus Christ, JQ, race or religion. I didn't defend, so I quoted Hitler. He said the big question was whether they are a religion or a race. If they are a religion, how can there be Jewish atheists? Question, right? It's an ethnicity. His whole argument is not defending. I'm just trying to lay it out and not misrepresent it. Because every time I heard this, this is what fascinates me. You can look up the big lie Hitler Goebbels online. You will get the impression this is something they peddled as a way to control the people. Yeah, tell them a big lie. They'll believe it. Yeah, but just decontextualize that. Who's going to be in power and spill the beans about, yeah, well, I'm lying to you. He was saying that the Jews were lying, and they were lying that they were a, a religion and not a race. Okay, that's all. That has nothing to do with defending or saying Jews should be killed. You're making ridiculous, slippery slope leaps. There's no fucking connection at all. The quote, the quote that I was going to say from the Red Deck Manifesto was, I'm no fan of white supremacy. Everyone knows the chinks and Jews are superior. And as I asked earlier today, when you say supreme, what are you talking about? People can be better in all sorts of different ways. When it comes to long distance running, I'm a Kenyan supremacist. When it comes to intelligence, I describe myself actually and answer me as a bright supremacist. I favor intelligent people. That's not white people. Statistically, it's not. Uh, I think you can look like the top 10 per capita income groups in America. None of them are traditional Europeans, maybe one or two. I may be off, but they are stacked heavy with Jewish people and Asians. Funny how it works in this white, hold on, in this white supremacist society, they tend to average the highest mean IQs. That is the, that is the opposite of white supremacy. I, as far as white, white people do best, huh? I think one thing I like about white people is that they tend to foster individuality more. That's a value that they like. I like that. As far as like religion, the fucking Eastern religions are way ahead. Western religion across the board are retarded. And like I said, as far as intelligence, I believe, here's the thing though, I believe in inequality. That's the only thing that's changed in my entire philosophy since I did Answer Me. It's ludicrous to try to explain all disparities in performance with racism or capitalism or white supremacy. It's insane. The best, as I believe in evolution. I was trying to explain this to you earlier. To me, a lot of this is explained by evolution. Different groups evolved on different continents under different selection pressures and developed different mean aptitudes. Certain parts of Africa favored strength. The world's best long distance runners. I mean, a tiny county in Kenya. Something absurd, and again, I, I, I qualify this. I, I may be pulling it out my ass, but like majority, I think, of like world champion long distance runners are from this tiny town, county in Kenya. Is it because of culture? No, they've got, you know, they've done studies, more better fast twitch muscle fiber. And I'm sorry, Stephen Jay Gould has been debunked. They have measured brains. Uh, Philippe Rush and others have done it. Asians do have, I think it's about 100 grams larger on average than European brains, which are about 100 grams larger on average than African brains. And, and I prefer, instead of race, because we could get into a 19-hour discussion over the semantics of what's what, I prefer continental ancestry. Here's the thing. I think they've got it backwards when they say racism is everywhere and quantifiable, but race, that doesn't exist. It's a social construct. Get a forensic technician. Have them look at a skull. Hey, forensic technician, were there any racist thoughts in that skull? I don't know. Where was that skull from? What's, oh, that's, yeah, that, uh, its ancestry is European. Race is real. I think people are tribal. I'm a fucking, whether you want to call me autistic or antisocial or introverted or sociopathic, I don't fucking have a tribal bone in my body. What I do is stand on the fringes and see how ridiculous people are and how self-righteous they get over illusions. I really think equality is illusion. I, I mean, I'm pissed off that I used to be fooled by it, just like I'm still pissed off that I used to be fooled by Christianity. But you've made no case. I've never said whites are superior. I think they fall middling in most things. They did, they did pretty great for a while because they hadn't been guilt-tripped into, into fucking, uh, what would you call it, immobilization? But as far as being supreme, no. Nah. I mean, I, here's the, and here's what you risk. You risk, risk this, some of my best friends are black. It sounds corny. And you had like you have to get your bona fides, but when it was actually risky for a white guy to say good things about black people, I was that fucking guy because I am a boomer. Back in the '70s, I remember standing in uh, the student lounge at Cardinal O'Hara High School. I grew up Catholic, and I'm still damaged by it. 
And I, and I started, I wanted to be an actor in my teens. I started acting in plays. A lot of them were in center city, Philadelphia. First encounters with black people. And I remember saying to some Italian guys, like, well, some of these black people I'd rather hang out with. He, he never talked to me again. I brought the cast out to my fucking neighborhood. Nobody in the neighborhood talked for my birthday party. Nobody in my neighborhood talked to me again. 1984, I had a fucking black girlfriend. And when, you know who gave a shit? The brothers. We hooked up again, like in 2015. It's like it must. It might be in the Guinness Book for the, the like the world's longest gap between a sexual okay. reunification. Okay, so I think I, I think I get and, it. You know, we're we're in New, we're in New York, and she's like, you know, why do they call you? Uh, so, oh, sorry, if you could wrap up, wrap up your point, so that Logic Guy's got something to respond to, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I can obviously I can go on forever. Go ahead. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, just I want to hit on some things you said. You said uh, people are tribal, but you're not tribal. I think uh, it's. And here's the thing. I think I think it's neurological. Um, I'm epileptic. So you I'd think you have a, a it, neurological uh, anomaly that makes you not tribal? I, th I think it's possible. I'm just like I like I said. I'm very careful with with what I say. Th that's speculative. a weird thing to say, but honestly, I kind of think the similar things about myself. I think I'm a, I think I'm immune to the flu, so I'm not going to I'm going to give you a pass on. Um, yeah, well, it's I was once reading something from a like an Aspie website about uh -huh. neuro. And I'm and it's saying, well, you know, they're very socially oriented. They'll lie. They don't really believe in anything. Approval is more important than the truth. And I'm nodding along. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel the same way. And but like I would have, I would read it to friends or send it to friends. And like I'm like, what do you think about this? Like I want to punch that guy. I'm like, okay. why? Because it makes sense to me. But yeah, I, th I think uh, I think social. Find that I think, maybe I think a matter it's probably of not true. I think it's probably not true that, that you're the the person who's not tribal, but I think it's it's a relatable thing to think. Uh, you said now it sounds like you're a guy who uh, really appreciates the diversity of the different races or the, the different uh, continental ancestries, as it were. You appreciate I, the different. I mean, yeah, because because uh, if, if you know globalism works, there's not going to be diversity. Okay. Um, now, uh, is there, in your opinion, uh, any particular? Let me put it this way white the white the people of european ancestry how do they compare to uh to to blacks in intellect intellect well okay here here's the thing and i gotta gotta clarify well just it's you know well, no, no no this, no this is very important to, to specify this because well he believes not a belief all of the fucking tests okay so 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 I'm, you and I, and for, hold on hold on okay like 85 mean iq in america about 70 in africa Mm -hmm. And when all oh, these are culturally biased toward whites, then why do whites mid like score middling in it? Why do other groups uh -huh. score better than whites? This is what the term. And I've been begging people for thirty years. Change my okay. fucking mind. Show so, me so, an so, IQ so test. So whites where they perform do better. better in intellect than than blacks. Is it would be a fair would be a statement you agree with? Huh? Whites are are higher in intellect than blacks would be a statement you agree with. Average. And lower than Asians and Jews. Wait, if no, you don't no, add no, that, no if you average. don't add that, you make no me look like a white supremacist. I, I asked, I asked, whites test higher in intelligence than blacks. There's no average. There's average. There's their black genius. Oh, so, so, uh, so on average, whites perform better than blacks. Yeah. Okay. That's what the test and, says. Uh, that's not what I believe. Show me other tests. That's fine. That's, that's fine. what the test Jim, says. Jim, Show that's me other fine. Tests. That's fine, Jim. And okay. uh, and and how do how do whites compare to Hispanics? Who? How do whites compare to Hispanics in intellect? Hispanics, from what I know, Hispanics in America at least average about 90, 92. The whites so, so set, whites about, set the higher. mean, it's about 100. Uh, in, so whites in perform higher? On average. On average. Okay. And you described yourself as, as, a, uh, as a bright supremacist. You prefer intelligence. So it would be fair to say, based on that, that you prefer whites to blacks and Hispanics. Based on if that I'm going to have a doctor, if I, if I want somebody to be charismatic. You would prefer a white doctor. Or, I would prefer an Indian doctor, actually. I've even talked okay, about but, that on but my if, podcast. If given, if given the choice between a, a white doctor and a black doctor, you would prefer the black, the white doctor. Probably, yeah. Okay, all right. But there are there are some some races that you uh, that that you uh, think had, are I higher mean, in intelligence had, than uh, I had this than, Indian than For instance, Ashkenazi I, Jews are higher in intelligence. What about you, <laughs> I heard Jews in the midst of that while I was talking. What, I was, I was asking. You do also agree, believe that there are certain races that score higher on intellect than whites. For instance, this, Ashkenazi. This you interrupted me when I was trying to explain. It's not a belief. This uh, is the uh, evidence I've seen. It's fine, not a matter fine, of fine, faith. Fine. It's not God in the sky. That's, that's and I'm, fine. I'm inviting you right now. Show me where the tests differ. That's so, all. so it's a statement you agree with. That is, that's fine. 
Um, all right. Uh, now I'm curious. You 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 were talking about that uh, that Twitter thread. How did you find that Twitter thread? I'm just curious. Oh, you know, I'm fascinated with myself. I searched my name. Name search. All right, that's cool, man. I was actually I was, I, that's actually pretty. Most people wouldn't admit that, but that's cool. Uh, Honestly, that's that. a way to. It's kind of a way to follow shit when you don't follow people on Twitter. On social media, just as policy, I don't yeah, follow yeah, anyone. Yeah. yeah, I have an Instagram account. I don't follow anyone. It's. I've had so much weird, so many weird experiences with fans who become friends or lovers that uh, I, I'm, I know some of those stories, weird. believe it or not. I've heard some of What's those that? stories. I said I've heard some of those stories. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've you've written some of them. Um, all right. Uh, so so you said you didn't read that thread. So you actually don't know, like, because your name only came up incidentally in that. I don't know how much of it you read. No, oh, I'm not. You know, here I, I fully admit I'm fixated on myself. The the other point, like, if we want to, if we think we're done with discussing white supremacy. No, we're not done. This, we're, we're, okay, we've not okay, even begun discussing. Because the, the other thing I want to talk about is this idea that beliefs inevitably lead to violence i think that's that i is, don't think i don't think that's dangerous... a belief anyone has jim no one thinks beliefs inevitably well, not, lead to violence. i think that is reason i think a lot of people believe that they sorry we've um, come in to discuss a very specific question yeah. so can we please people yeah it's, it's like if you, if you want to debate someone who uh who thinks that beliefs inevitably result in violence you're gonna to have to find that person i'm not him uh, they're they're every, uh, you might be the i don't only doubt one, you, you i'm just saying i'm not there so you can't somewhere. debate it with me Well, it's, it sounds like, and maybe I drew a false inference here. This is what you wrote. When white supremacists like Goat have held the seat of power, the death and destruction have been incalculable. Unless yes, I'm misreading I, 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 that. I agree with that. Okay, so then you're saying the, the, the ideology of white supremacy leads to violence. I think the, I, you, said, you said ideologies. I think, the ideo I think the track record for the ideology of white supremacy is horrific, yes. I feel like we're moving and away then, from the original yeah, um, central yeah. point here because we're yeah, talking yeah, about cause, something cause, that's cause, unrelated. Oh, sorry. No, no, I'm just saying we've come in to discuss yeah. a very specific subject. I'd like to just keep it on topic, please. Yeah. Moderator yeah. guy, you're being very good. I'm, I'm impressed. I, t I told you, man, I, I, I vouched for this guy. Well, like uh, I told so, you my experience before where that, like there was a moderator who was not moderate at all. That's you, I, I give credit did, wherever it's due. You did tell me that. So I'm, I'm going okay. to, I'm, I'm going to, uh, to post the tweet that, uh, that started this off. It's one of yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so there's a Jim Goad tweet. I, can everyone see that? I'll throw it up on the screen for everyone to read. Now, uh, now Jim is actually, he's not quote tweeting Jordan Peterson here. He's, uh, he's screenshotting him. So I'm going to put in the, uh, the full Jordan Peterson uh, tweet so that we can see it for context. Because I noticed, and I'm, I'm sure it's, um, it's accidental, but uh, Jim's uh, screenshot cuts off the context where it shows that Jordan Peterson was... Uh, talking it, the, the underneath that text he posted a link about the uh the tree of life synagogue massacre that had happened two days before so i feel like that's important context to this so basically jordan peterson is like scolding his fans who like are anti-semitic and jim jim jumps in and is like and basically i i would say sort of um you're angry i i i'll, I'll, I'll let oh, you okay just describe. why Let's i can't see the tweet i can't see what you're talking about oh, so uh, hit, hit, hit that uh hit that that on the above debate hit where it says links hit that and you'll see where i'm posting okay. these links to okay yeah because i'm i'm you know click yeah, that so tell us what's going on here it says you do not have permission to view the message oh. history of links may you kindly read it to me what am i saying chud can you give him permission oh yeah yeah sorry i think um Bring me, bring me just a second, okay? Yes, no problem. There. Thanks for coming on, Jim. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, hey, I'll tell you, anybody who's actually willing to have a discussion, I'm I cool love to discuss cause... ideas. I'm always saying so. Well, fuck, yeah, so, so do I. But it's like, it's at the point where people just throw grenades over walls at this point. Welcome to the beginning of the Lynx okay. channel. Okay, what do I got to do now? Uh, go All it says is welcome. And go back and you should be able to view it then. One more time. I'm well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna repost them, okay? Because I bet it's because he didn't have permission at that time. Yeah, maybe. So I'm just gonna repost them. Okay. Do you see that one? Okay. And then there's a second one that, for context, that I'm gonna post as well. All right. So you see those? So tell us like what's going on here. Okay, uh, Jordan Peterson, who I hate. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that about you.
And uh, oh, I think it's, a, I mean, weird. And have you ever seen the one where he's crying? He filmed I've film. seen, that's like 10 videos. Yes, I've seen all of them. Yeah, that's okay. I've only seen one. So he's, at, he's scolding someone for being anti-Semitic. We could yes. spend 14 hours even discussing what a Semite is. That's not what we're here to do. <laughs> But he's anti-identity. Po- he's anti-identity of politics, mm-hmm. but defends Jewish identity politics. Is, is they are allowed. Hold politics? on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Identity politics. He's never been anti-Zionist, as far as I know, and mm-hmm. he's defending these this these people. Their right to get offended as a people against people saying bad things about them. So he's anti-collectivist, except for them. I'm drawn to double standards to infer. That means I hate Jews when I actually hate double standards is another, like, don't leap so hard. Because so sometimes what's the double, what's you the miss the standard? lily pad. What's that? What's, what's the double standard? Double standard. He's he's totally, he's slammed. And Ben Shapiro is another person who does this. Oh, identity politics for weird, for is for maladjusted people who have to live in a mythical past because they can't get their own act together. Except, well, Zionists or Semites, no, they... They have collective interests. They can be defamed. They can be smeared. They oh. should be protected against it. Hold on, I'm confused. I'm confused. Is, is the yeah. is the double standard here that he's saying that uh, whoever I don't even know. Who, I guess he's not talking about a specific person. I he's guess the context that you that can't you bear see some here. Responsibility is that is that the double standard? No, the context I guess that you're not seeing here is that he has openly said white identity is wrong or or west. Like I'm not sure how he feels about the whole Western thing. But he definitely, I think he's against collectivism when it comes to communism. Yeah, I think he might, he might be one of these people like Ben Shapiro. They're against identity politics in general, except for Semites. That's the double standard. Uh, okay, I guess I didn't really understand, but uh, I found another tweet. Oh, first of all, there's there's some important context. This is two days after the, the Tree of Life massacre, which it just seems like a weird time to pick that fight to me. I mean, that's not the fight I would get involved in two days after the, the Tree of Life massacre. Maybe that's identity politics. I don't know. Jim? Yeah. I thought you were posting another tweet. No, no. I, I, I was just saying that I, I thought it was a weird time to, to pick that fight. Um, hey, I mean, if you want to say about how stupid white people, whatever, it's like, do we want to talk about interracial race? But Jordan Peterson would scold you for that, though. Would what? Jordan Peterson would scold Jordan you Peterson. for that. If you were like, oh, white people suck, Jordan Peterson would be like, well, hey now, um, that's not the kind of language I like. He would say white, he would say, I think I've seen him say it, that white identity is is for people who are living through a mythical past and, and it's but if because someone they don't, was, what's that? saying like, I hate white people, Jordan Peterson would, would like scoff at them. I've never seen him do that. Maybe he, I mean that's your hunch. I don't know. I, I mean, he seen. hates the SJWs, buddy. He hates the SJWs. Here's the thing, though: you can't make these broad brush things because this is. You know, I don't know where you stand politically, so I'm not going to call you a communist. I'm not going to call you a democratic so- socialist. Oh, okay. And this that's, is that's why nice it's like. I appreciate that. Yeah. So I mean, but. There are a couple things that I didn't mention. This is why, like this particular thing, drew me into this discussion. Trump. Yeah. The uh, the New York Times. They recently selected uh, Elizabeth no, no, Warren. I, I, want, I want to stay on this, man. Okay. Well, uh, but there's another reason why the, this is the white nationalism. Are we on Jews now? Because you said you still wanted to speak about white. Because there were a lot of things I actually didn't say. So this is the topic. So I'm going to actually steer it back to the topic. Okay. The New York Times recently selected Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar. How do you say that for president? Uh, it's Cloud Buchar. Or what is that? Eastern European? Cl- Cloud Buchar. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's said, and, it, and it's very, it's fascinating to me, like, how far they go, like, expecting not to be called on it. They said Trump has been clear. They put clear about what his domestic policies are. Okay. White nat- nativism at home. White. Here's here's the thing. To my knowledge, the only time Donald Trump has ever said the word white, he once accused Al Sharpton of hating white people. All right. He never said, I'm for white nativism at home. I'm for white. Okay. He's never said any of that. I've challenged him. I kind of agree. Because when I think Trump, when when has he ever addressed white people as a group? Then you can like mind read and everything. Well, no, he means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, No, no, I, 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 I agree. I agree. That's I want to just... discuss because uh, when I was finding yeah. this tweet, I, th- I found another tweet where you, uh, okay, well, where, where you. I got two or three more bullet items, and we, you can go through nine hundred tweets. I'm cool. The other thing. I only have one more. I promise. 
no, th- yeah, let me just get through these things about white okay. supremacy and, right. and why this, why I think it's, it's more dangerous to mind read, I think, than to hold any of these beliefs you're talking about. Peter Brimelow, vdare.com, it's an anti-immigration site. He yeah, just it's a white supremacist me- site. Well, you, again, you're free to cite where he says whites okay. should rule over others and are supreme to all other races. I okay. think you'll, you'll come up lacking. He just sued them for saying it's op- he's openly white nationalist, okay? Wait, There's a, a podcast called I Don't Speak German. And oh, they did an episode on wait, that. Wait, wait, was I this the guy you were about talking three... about your podcast? You described him as a, as a Herman and the Herbits looking guy? He just has that typical, like, how do you describe? I'm trying to think of like a, a media figure, fat, beard, glasses, balding. I mean, it's a look. Okay. Um, but okay, uh, he did this podcast about, I mean, I could take about three minutes. I'm like, okay, he doesn't even know what he's talking eh. about. But hold up, but within the three minutes, this is what I heard. He says that I'm an open white nationalist, an open white supremacist, and would probably claim that. And then he had this girl come on who's an expert on the, or self-proclaimed expert on the Proud Boys. She claimed that I said, I said once that a guy did not hit his woman because he didn't love her. And then she went on this half hour thing about what this means about my psychology. And I'm from the old school where I think women shouldn't even speak. And hey, Jim, can I down. just interject that, 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 that? That's something I can imagine you writing. I could see writing it as a joke, but she, I, she, I never said anything like well, it. Well, but you, but you talk about love in like very brutal terms. I'm, people who know me call me the Iron Marshman. I'm all about love. But anyway, she, she, and I challenged, I, I contacted them both. I'm like, Daniel, you said I was a white nationalist. When did I ever say I want a white nation? And uh, Samantha, where's this fucking quote? And when, you know, Samantha beyond that, like, like you're not qualified to diagnose me based on a quote I never said. You're not qualified to diagnose me based on a quote I did say. Okay, so that's yeah. another thing. Uh, skinheads in Portland, anti-racist skinheads in Portland. Yeah, I know them. They, they, they attacked me physically three times. They were spreading a rumor out around town that I had written that I like to beat the Jew out of my wife. <laughs> I, never wrote, I never wrote anything like that. But they use that as Holy a shit. justification. They use that as justification for physically attacking me. Well, that's okay. I, let and, me just say that I, I condemn physically attacking. I condemn preemptive violence. It's in, but that's in, well, do you condemn preemptive censorship? Because the idea is, do you, I don't know what preemptive censorship is, but I'm, I, I'm going to go on a limb here. I think free speech is good. Uh, I want to talk about this, uh, this other, um, uh, Jordan Peterson tweet of yours I found where, uh, you say, uh, Kevin McDonald torches Jordan Peterson. You link to a Kevin McDonald article. Um, so you just got told us that that that, uh, that identity politics frustrates you. Um, Kevin McDonald is is an identity. He he's an id poll guy. He believes in white identity politics. That's not the part I'm endorsing. I'm endorsing what he talked about Jordan Peterson because the the thing in question was Jordan Peterson was in this. That guy does like arenas. This place looked like there were ten thousand people there. And somebody in the audience is like, Dr. Peterson, I know you're against like the evils of collectivism and the Holocaust and persecution for people's beliefs. I have a book for you. It's the most censored book in world history. Uh, the author is famous, but still this book has never actually been completely translated into English. It's 200 years together by Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who spent, uh-huh. I don't know, 40 years in the gulag. And the 200 years together, it's about the interactions of Jews and, you know, with the Russian Okay. Peasantry. The name of the article and, is uh, it, it's it's about Jordan Peterson on the Jewish question. It, it, it's a it's a reply sure. to Jordan Peterson on the Jewish question is what the article is. Okay. Fine. Well, can I can you please stop him from the thing that I objected to with Jordan Peterson Ray the whole question was this is a guy against you know against genocide for political beliefs, but the guy said in this book Solzhenitsyn claims that Jewish Bolshe- Bolsheviks orchestrated. The deaths of about 10 to 15 million Russian Christians just on the religion. What do you say about this? And he said, I can't, I can't, I can't say. Now, if you want to actually call up the Kevin McDonald article and, and discuss what's said in there, yeah, I, the I Kevin you know, this McDonald article like, doesn't, it's just about the Jewish question, buddy. So Karl Marx asks the Jewish question. Is it wrong to ask questions about Jews? Okay, but it really, sure that, it there really are many questions like, you can uh, ask like, about like, Jews. It really seems like your grax to grind with Jordan Peterson is about the JQ. It really seems that way. Again, all you're doing is, well, okay, it really seems like you're a child molester. You see how this no, works? No, that's not really what I'm doing Well, see, that, that's how it works, because you can't prove it. 
So what, that's what, my mind uh, the only thing stupid. I'm trying to uh, the only thing I'm trying to prove is that you link to the cut out. Yeah, you, you cut out that logic guy still. I said the only thing I'm trying to prove is that you link to an article about the Jewish question in Jordan Peterson. No, no, no. Okay, and for what? What is the the illogical inference you're making from this? I, is, I, I'm just interested. You said you, you're such an opponent of identity politics, but Kevin McDonald is definitely an id poll guy. He's an, he's a white id poll guy. I, I, here's here's the thing. A opponent. I, I said that Jordan Peterson was an opponent of identity politics. So I you also like said politics? people. Hold on. Yeah, stop I, interrupting, let, 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 let him let him let him answer. Okay. I apologize. I said people are. I also said people are tribal. I'm not. So naturally, there's going to be identity. You learn that in yeah. prison. Your fucking skin is a gang tattoo. The, the funny thing, and I, I share this whenever I can, what was fascinating to me in prison is I've never seen the races get along better. But they, they segregated like in, in the chow hall and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there was this mutually assured destruction. Everyone respected one another. Everyone acknowledged everyone else was tribal. So I'm not an opponent of identity politics. I, that's like being an opponent of sex. Well, people are going to fuck. It's like people are going to be tribal anyway. What's... I'm a, an opponent of double standards. What being a boomer growing up, the, the whole deal, as it was explained to me, is like, hey, we're all human. We're all going to just get in the same magic psychedelic bus. And, and I'm like, I've always been cool with that. What started being suspicious is they were openly encouraging every identity except white. And I'm like, that's a re if you think that's a recipe for harmony, no, that's that seems almost engineered for catastrophe. It's bad. It's bad. I, I'm, I'm, I just I'm, want to throw in. I, I'm white identity. Here's where I'm white identity. If you're gonna fucking attack me physically for it, or you're gonna try to extort me for it, or here's okay. Here's here's a a, a story. When my son, my son's eleven <laughs> now. When he was two years old, we lived in Stone Mountain, Georgia, which was like eighty-seven percent black. Mm -hmm. And we had to take him to a daycare center because we were both working. Uh, he lasted there two days. It was a black run daycare center. Mm -hmm. She went to pick him up at the end of the day both times. And both times he was out alone in the playground crying. The second day she brought him home, he had these bruise marks on his little two-year-old biceps like adult fingers had forcibly held him down. And she went to the headmistress and said, what's going on here? And he sh she shrugged and said, well, you Caucasians bruise easily. So I'm raising a son in a world where everybody else is encouraged. Oh, well, black pride, you Caucasian, like generalization. Don't get any shit for it. Yeah, that, that bugs the shit out. It has nothing to do with wanting to destroy other people or kill other people. And this is why I object to this shit. Because that sounds people, like a bad daycare. You know, you're not, it's a bad daycare, but it's also somebody with bad, pretty bad racial attitude. I, I, I mean, to, for a fucking not, that's baby? Not the, that's not the right thing to say. I, I don't I don't know what the manual, what the employee manual says, but I think that's not the right <laughs> I, thing to say. I don't think that they tell you to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Just before we move on, uh, I just want to say that this Kevin McDonald guy, he's a he's a frequent guest on David Duke's podcast, and uh, he wrote a blog about how he agrees with David Duke about virtually everything. So it's like if I if I'm going to link to an article trashing Jordan Peterson, it's not going to be by this guy. That's my only point. <laughs> All right. Can we can we talk about the uh, the magazine you've been working at for ten years? Yeah. Uh, Taki magazine. Hmm. Um, now I noticed. Now you, I, I was surprised when you said this because you denied being a conservative. Never said I'm right wing. Okay, fair enough. Um, and <laughs> I, I was, but especially at... the, to me, conservative implies a lot of cultural shit, family and tradition. You and write religion. mostly about cultural shit, though. I'm talking about a conservative flavor of cultural shit, family I, and tradition. Please I, don't I know step you over the, my uh, you sentences, hate the my God. You hate, you hate the trad cats, right? Yeah. You hate the trad cats, right? I have all kinds of theories about what, what's going on there, yeah. It's a coping okay. me mechanism, I think, for some of these guys. Uh, I, know, I noticed in the, uh, in the masthead for, uh, for Taki, uh, it says, uh, it describes the, the site as... Uh, Hold on, I want I want to make sure I don't I don't get it wrong here. Uh, we believe political labels such as conservative and liberal are as outdated as flared trousers and Nazis, and I couldn't agree with that more. Out, political labels are outdated. I thought that was the, a great the, part. The of the political binary is like one of the dumbest. But okay. Would you say you're more of a classical liberal? 
Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, I, you know, I, I've said this in 10 different interviews. I'm like a 1977 liberal because Fuck, here's man. the thing I, here. I, I, what I really focus on is guilt and guilt projection, who gets blamed and who doesn't uh -huh. and how a lot of times the people who get blamed aren't the guilty ones. Back then, the culture was definitely more what I guess you would call right leaning. The, the demographics were, you know, predominantly white. Yep. It was an entire, but like, you get the first season of the cast of Saturday Night Live with Chevy. Chevy Chase was great on that and great on really? nothing else. And now you've Garrett got Morris. Shea. And, I mean, come on. Like, since <laughs> like the seven, but like, they, they were just irreverent against the reigning pieties of the day. That's what comedians are supposed to do. The problem with comics now is they enforce the reigning pieties. I think and a lot of us might agree with you, to be honest. I think that's like a popular sentiment on, uh, among the left. I mean, it's like Dave, Dave Chappelle like nailed it. Jerry Seinfeld nails it too. It's like, you know, it's, it's not just about punching up. That's kind of a very political way of looking what's funny. Human nature is funny. Poor people do dumb things. I mean, I, I think in, that's in that sense, I believe in equality. Well. People are equally frustrating and dishonest. And yeah. That's the one thing where I believe I've never really been convinced that any group is like lower in character or anything. And I, 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 how would you even kind of prove that? I believe yeah. that everyone believes there are physical differences. You can get fired if you believe there are, there are cognitive differences. Character? Mm, maybe some cultures have a different temperament. But yeah, I mean, yeah, you've, I've, said, you've said in the past that you think that, they, that different races probably have a different, a, a different temper, temperaments. That's a statement. I, I think it's a, I think it's a fascinating. I, I've always said too, and yeah, you can imagine what kind of shit I get for this. In general, since I've met them, I first met them. I, when I was in third grade, uh, they thought I was getting in trouble at my working class Catholic school because I was too smart. No, it's because there was chaos at home. So they yeah. sent me to a pri They arranged to send me to some private school. Kobe Bryant went to this private school, Waldron Academy in Murrian, Pennsylvania. That's, <laughs> ironically, the first time I saw black people in my life was when I left my working class neighborhood and saw a couple of rich black kids. And there were three of them. Uh, there was one that looked like Flavor Flav, I forget his name. The other one was a chubby kid named Ruben. Leland Hardy, his nickname was Tiger. We were thick as thieves immediately. You, you and had this is Ruben, funny too. <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> but, um, I mean, since I first met them, pretty consistently, I would say they've definitely got a charisma edge. And no one has a better laugh than black people. Um, oh, I mean, it's, it's like, that's what I see when you say supreme. It's like, well, in what category? In terms I believe of laughter, in difference. I believe evolution supreme. causes a difference. What's that? In terms of laughter, black people are supreme. In terms of their laugh. I mean, as far yeah. as like... The group Meta Supremes Con was black. As far as uh, like meta, like conceptual comedy, I think Jews definitely corner the market on that. I mean, well known, well known. Um, so uh, just, I want to get back to, to Tacky. Uh, so I love the, the masthead, the opening statement pulled me right in. But when I looked at the, um, at the, uh, the, the writers, the columnists, uh, I started to get, it, the site all of a sudden seemed much less heterodox, shall we say. Uh, for instance, like Ann Coulter, it'd be fair to call Ann Coulter a, a right winger, right? I think she identifies it. Like I said, it's nothing you can quantify, but she, I don't think she'd argue. Yeah, I think she'd describe herself as a, as a conservative or, a, or even a paleo-conservative. I think I've heard this her say it's, it's a matter of being tribal or not. People pick teams. If they, they play politics like sports. That, and the, and that, the, and don't the have team that she picks is the, is the right-wing one. And then Pat Buchanan, a very famous uh, paleo-con in America. He's kind of the paleo-con in the U.S., right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. And then Taki, uh, I had to look him up, Taki Theodore Akopoulos. I looked Akopoulos. him up, and, and he's apparently a pretty well-known paleocon. Uh, yeah, more like an Onassis type. He's, uh, I don't know what I don't that know. is. Dipping, he's a Greek. Uh, Aristotle Onassis, Jacqueline Kennedy's uh, uh, husband after John F. Kennedy got shot. Uh, um, Steve Greek, Saylor, Greek. that guy is like pretty right-wing in my opinion. Would you uh, he's a Catholic. That? He's a Catholic. Mostly, what he talks about is intelligence, and and uh, he talks about race yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, David Cole. I didn't know who David Cole was. I yes. looked him up. Yes. What What do you know about David Cole? 
I've known David since the early 90s uh, when I was yeah. out in L.A. doing Anthony. Uh, David he is describes the first... himself as a notorious Holocaust denier. That's a blurb from him. I think if he says, no, he puts it in a quote probably. Uh, he was a revisionist. Denier, I mean, then we talked about this, and if you want to get into the very nature well, of I'm, I'm using his own words. I'm using his right. own words. This is his Well, book. I'm not sure if he's saying that or if he's quoting someone's description of him. That's the only I mean, it's, the it's the book. It's, I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look up David Cole. I think he would like, if you asked him, he would say he was a revisionist. He would say he's no longer a revisionist. Uh, he's the world's first and last Jewish Holocaust revisionist who got hounded into anonymity. Uh, he had to change his identity because he was attacked repeatedly by the Jewish Defense well, League. Well, didn't he have a fake identity? I thought that's what the deal was. He had a fake identity. Because he was hounded into anonymity by the Jewish Defense League who kept physically attacking him. Irv Rubin but, was a well-known thug. But, he committed suicide in jail. And they, they, Irv Rubin, actually, and it's in his, David's book, Republican Party Animal, in, in like a 90s website, Irv Rubin, on a website, put a $25,000 bounty on David Cole's head. Now, okay. I did an, an entire podcast with David about what, so what's your deal about the Holocaust? You can, it's one of the first episodes of Jim Goad's group hug. David knows his shit more than I do about it, probably more than you do about it. Uh, according to him, well, he, you know, so, he so, you, so you're saying he's a, you're agreeing with Holocaust revisionist. Well, that's what, what he says, says, that's what says I, in bio on your site, on, on Taki's site. It says revisionist? It says revisionist. I saw a blurb. Yeah, I, I don't have it in front of me. I saw a blurb that said notorious Holocaust denier. I think he might have been cheeky there or quoting somebody, but I so don't know. So we're going to agree on on Holocaust revisionist. We're going to agree on that. And then you cut me off while I was trying to explain what he says. I apologize. Okay. Well, I did a two-hour podcast. Where I'm like, so what's the deal? Sometime, I think in the 80s, some guy who was a revisionist who had like an entire apartment full of reams and reams of documents died. David, being a very intelligent and obsessive guy, started reading it all. And mm -hmm. I asked him, so what were your conclusions? And he said, well, uh, when they talk about the final solution, there is no document for that. And I've yet to see a document for that because when you hear them talk about that, it's like, okay, there was a plan. The Nazis were notoriously good at keeping records. There's no plan for that. I'm like, so what happened? He's like, well, the war started, and, um, and Hitler's going into Poland. Going into Poland and sorry, just to interject. I'm not sure how relevant this is to the topic at hand. Um, we're we're, getting oh, into we're the way weeds. off. Yeah, we've gone off I mean, into the weeds, and we're talking about the Holocaust now, which to me yeah. seems quite unrelated to the, term, the topic so can we try and get yeah. back on track a little well, okay bit, i encourage you if you're actually interested just look up jim goad's group hug david cole he goes into it for about two hours his main thing is he doesn't believe there were gas chambers because he's visited and examined them all right but just 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 for, for the sake of argument by the way i found the amazon page that does not use quotes around notorious holocaust denier just just because but anyways, all right. So uh, also, uh, Richard Spencer was the head editor of there for uh, for a while. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long. Yeah, but he. So um, so you you w would agree that he is an alt right guy. I think uh, he and a Jewish guy named Paul Gottfried are co credited with coming up for the term alt right. Yes, I, I believe he is a co and, and, uh Okay, I've hold on, hold on. You were wrong. You with your gotcha wall. moment on here. You were wrong. It's Feral House describing David's book as notorious Jewish Holocaust denier. Oh, so it's I not see. David. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, you are correct. You're right about that. Uh, yeah, so when uh, when Milo uh, and his uh, his unpaid intern Alan Bakari at uh, at Breitbart wrote their seminal write-up of the uh, of the alt-right that was uh, quoted all throughout the media and also by Hillary Clinton. This is how he described Tacky Magazine, and you tell me if you agree with this. Uh, alternative right, the alternative right coalesced around Richard Spencer during his editorship of Tacky's Magazine. In 2010, Spencer, Spencer founded Alternative Right, which would become the center of alt-right thought. So he refers to Tacky Magazine as a coalescence point for the alt-right. Do you agree with that? Hello? Hello? Uh, Jim, we, we can't hear you. Man, what happened? He, he just he just dunked on me with that uh with that quote thing too. There we go. I got fucking home. Hello. Hey, what's going on? 
So sorry, just to get um, catch up again, Logic Guy, do you want to just um, restate what you said and then we'll go from there? Yeah. So this is how Milo and his unpaid internal card describe Taki Magazine, and you just tell me if you agree with this or not. Um, the alternative right coalesced around Richard Spencer during his editorship of Taki's magazine. In 2010, Spencer founded alternativeright.com, which would become a center of alt-right thought. Do you, so it's a coalescence point for the alt-right. Do you agree with that assessment? I don't think most guys who identify with uh, the alt-right would say that. They'd probably say it's just boomer shit. What's boomer shit? Takis. Huh? Takis? Magazine, yeah. Okay. Now, when we went through the uh, the, the, the columnists at, at the bottom of every page, it, it seemed to me they were uniformly right-wing boys. Is that fair? Uh, well, well, I I don't identify if you want to classify. Joe Bob Briggs is not. He's just a movie critic. He's, he's, not, he's not down there, though. I'm talking about at the bottom of the page and then, like, the site's masthead. I think uh, that Christopher DeGroot guy who's all about tradition and all that, I think he would identify as a conservative. If, if you're spending all this time to say that Whoever wrote the site description is inaccurate. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree, and we can move on. I'm, tr I'm just trying to get your. I, here's here's. I'm going to boil it down to one question. So I would, would, you, I would think every, almost everyone on there, except me and Joe Bob, identify as right wing. Joe Bob's not there, so you're you're the token liberal of uh, Takis. No, no, they. I think I, we we just. I think there's some overlap in what we agree about. But like okay. I said, the the part of right wing as far as as far as identity and tradition, it's like I'm defensively white. I don't want to fuck, you know, shut up with the, the endless defamation, the extortion, the like, you don't have a Those say, shut up. That's, I mean, that's, that's all I could give a shit about as far as, you know, organizing and eh. so, I mean, I'm antisocial. Why would I want to hang out with white people or any, anybody else? Yeah, me either. So how would you describe the editorial slant of Taki's magazine, if any? sure i mean tacky's daughter does it i'm not sure there really is one she uh she hires you don't think there's you don't think the magazine has a voice she has a, a political slant uh, i think that yeah I, like i said most of the the uh writers would identify as as right wing i mean i would definitely categorize it as a pretty far right site where do you where do you get your yardstick for this stuff this stuff I mean, it was robert anton point. Robert I, mean, I would definitely say that the site is staunchly anti-immigration and not just like anti immigration or something like that. Like they want immigration curbed and they're very worried about the rising non-white population in the U.S. of America, which I know you've written about too in your article about Texas. Like, uh, I've written about demographics a lot. I, I yeah. mean, would you look when they, okay, let's, let's, let's pose this like a different way. If okay. you were say, if you were say a member of the Cherokee tribe, uh, okay, British, I, I'm not. British, I think I'm going to get into trouble here, man. British, the British settlers were coming over. Uh -huh. Would you just well, stop being racist? Your time is over. So th th this uh, this analogy rests on viewing uh, immigration as uh, as invaders and conquerors. So that's here's the, what I think the, differs. I think differs with the current waves of immigration. Because I mean, I think immigration is pretty where, I, where I grew up, it was entirely Irish and, and Italian. Nothing else. And we saw the Italians as kind of like latecomers and everything. But the, when the Italians came, they came with the idea that America was cool and they wanted to be American and they wanted to speak English. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a real like tectonic shift, especially with uh, people coming in from the southern border. A lot of these people, by their own words, they think they're reclaiming something. They uh, think something they, was they really, Is that their own words? Can you quote someone He's, saying that? Please, yo, oh, absolutely. I, I you can like Reconquista. That's that's an entire movement. They believe that it's the nation of Aztecs. Something that like old white people freak out. But like, do you have a quote? That's my question to you. Jesus Christ. Okay, you want you really want to? Okay, Reconquista okay. quotes from like Let's... several Hispanic professors and hold on. Uh, Let's see if a Hispanic, Hispanic professor who's very interested in, in conquering uh, northern I think I can uh, find it continental there, United real States. Quick. Yeah. He, I mean, oh, ye of little faith. Here we go. All right, da, great. Da, da, American Gringos, Bad Immigrants. Next All the page. best sites, American Gringos. Da, 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 da. Going through like, this is what happens market. when you challenge somebody to the Democrats. Hold on. Okay. And, uh, Let's get, uh, I'm sure we can find uh, some, some woke young Democrats. There's one about like you're going to shit in your. 
Hey, I, I can't wait till the last one of you dies out. Let's see. I mean, his man, his man, a professor said that? Came to what professor see. said I can't wait till the last yeah. one of you dies? How about, uh, I mean... How much time do you want to spend on dead air here? Yeah, there, not, there are not, tons. Not, not, we can, we like, can, we can move on. I'm sure we'll find thousands someone of Hispanics saying, they look like up that. Reconquista. R-E-C-O-N-Q-U-I-S-T-A. They are under the impression they are reconquering territory. And you have a lot of people who are coming to America saying, man, America's a nasty fucking place and I'm here to change it. That's what's different about immigration now. That is not. And historically, as a point that I make in the Redneck book, was it all just immigration and people coming for a dream? No, every fucking time it was cheap labor. Every fucking time. First, when they they brought the uh, white indentured servants and convict laborers in chains against their will here, All right. replaced I, I, by I'm blacks. Sorry, I feel like we're moving was, quite the far away from the point. Trade was cheaper because was, then they brought so, sorry, sorry, just to interrupt. Non English, non German Europeans in. I feel, Italians name it. Sorry, I feel like we've moved quite far away from the, so, Sorry, the sorry. I'm, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We've moved quite far away from the point now, okay? Oh. The contention was about Tacky the Magazine. Labor. They don't give a fuck Hang on, about hang on, labor. hang on, hang on. The contention was about Tacky Magazine, and we've moved so far away from that point now. Let's move back to the point, okay? <laughs> Let's move back to the point. Logic Guy, what was your contention? Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask about Tacky Magazine. Um, what would you say the the politics of of the uh, the readers and visitors of Tacky Magazine is? Jim. Oh my! Another technical difficulty. Probably still yelling in a microphone. <clears throat> Jim, we can't hear you again. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this dead air by posting uh posting some fun images. These are just for fun. They don't make any point. Don't read into them. I'm just posting some fun images. This is uh This is uh Jim uh, on his guest spot on uh, on Bill Maher's show. That's his uh, that's his that's the the title that showed under his name when he was on the show. I asked him about this, and he confirmed that he did in fact tell them to to put that under his name. Fun times, blast blast from the past. What happened to Jim? Jim's still here, but there's no um, voice. Oh boy. He's muted now. No, he's not not muted according to this. He was a second ago. It had the the icon on. Uh oh. All right. Cool, man. <laughs> I like to push buttons too. Yeah, we still can't hear you, unfortunately. Just uh, tap that uh, that microphone by your name at the bottom. Go into the the user settings, the the cog, and go under go under voice, um, and check your microphones. I'm going to try and put a new to a different uh, room, okay? Give me a sec. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello? Hey. No, I'm not sure what's happening. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I mean, if we've got a problem with the um, voice, we're going to have to stop the debate, I guess. Oh man, what? I don't understand what happened. Like his his microphone just broke. What happened? All right, so it looks like he's found some settings in there. I don't get what happened. I'm trying to go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
go into the cog and check your uh your uh under voice and video and check to see that your microphone settings are right maybe you could try leaving the chat and come back yeah try that too Um, yeah, Jim, if you can hear me, perhaps it might be worth trying to disconnect from the chat and reconnecting. That might work. I guess we'll give it another few minutes and then... Well, shit. This was... We were getting to the good part. I'm gonna uh, I might post another picture here. I I don't want to post pictures if Jim, if Jim isn't around though. I don't feel like that's like. I want to you know be able to, and by the way, the the hate monger thing he put that there. You know, it's like in his sense of humor. Oh, here you go. I think Jim's back. Uh, Jim, you there? Here. Yeah, we can. Hey, Jim, what's happening? What the hell? This is I was talking. I I record these goofy karaoke videos and. I can understand all software except sound and video. You change nothing, and everything changes. My mic—I don't know what happened to the mic. Nothing was changed. Yeah, okay, so logic weird. guy, if you can just reassert your um, contention, and then yeah, we'll I, I was going to ask you what's uh, what do you think the um, the pol the political bent of the audience of Tacky is? Where do you think they are? I'd say they would identify as right wing, probably because they think are. That they do you think that they're racist? Well, that's like. Can, can you? Is there a raceometer where you can measure that? Define the term. Because in, in your opinion, would you call them racist? But what I, I've written an article called "Am I racist? What do you mean by racist?" There's no. What do you mean by it? Okay. Uh, there is a video of you uh, speculating about um, uh, the audience of Tacky and suggesting that uh, that they want more racism on the site. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. More. More. So 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 that you do agree that that they want. Well, I, sometimes okay, you got to take things like when I say they want more racism, it's not I'm saying yes, hatred of people for it's they want to talk more about racial issues. Yeah, well, but, uh, but you, that's, that's, a, that's a hell of a euphemism there. I, I, that's, that's, I don't think of those two things as as, as similar as synonyms. Racial talk, I raise racism. I'm being cheeky about that's what people are going to call it. I, you failed to. Do, what do you remember you, the context of this conversation? You, you're. I've written an article called "Am I Racist?" It depends. But this on is a video. I'm, uh, it, was, it was on a podcast. I'm curious if you remember the podcast. It was last stop February. Stop stepping on my fucking tongue. Yeah, just let look, um let let Jim finish his point, logic guy. Okay. Okay. Fuck. What is your definition? Then we can jump from there. I will tell you if I'm a racist. Define what you think a racist is, and I will say yes or no because I'm not a fucking coward. I went to fucking prison to beating, for beating the shit out of a woman and didn't say I was sorry about it because I wasn't. That's, uh, that's exactly what I fucking think. That's not a story. What is a point? Tell me and I'm, I'll tell you if I am or not. Well, I'm just using little, your own words, though. Sprung. I'm asking if you remember yeah. oh, the, the context of this conversation. Racist? What the fuck? What are you, a little witch hunter? What is a racist? I, I'm asking you about your own words, Jim. What's the word? So do you Dude, remember this oh conversation? It was, they, on, they, it was on a podcast last they February. Were, so this is going to lead to death and destruction. I was joking. I'm asking joking you like, about a conversation you had on a podcast last February. Do you remember it? Saying they want more racial stuff, race than racism as a joke. Yes. Do you? So do you remember the conversation that I'm talking about? Yes. And I, this is the ninth time you've gotten me to confirm this as if it's some kind of smoking gun. Uh, well, now, I'm just, now, not, I'm just, not, I'm just time, not sure. The just, 20th just... time for the shut up. Define what you think is a racist, or we're not going to go. I, I no, I'm asking you about your own words, though. Is the thing so? It's 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 your. So I'm going to ask you what you meant by it when you when you said uh, that that the audience wanted more racism. But I say, and we want more anti-Semitism. I don't agree with what you think anti-Semitism is, and I'm joking I'm about, about what your says. your use of the word. E brains like you think of it because it's like so, this horror. It's a sin to you. So it's so do, you, do you remember the name like of, of the podcast where this happened? Cutting out again. Do you remember the name of the podcast where you had this discussion? I think I said it on my own. No, it was it was a podcast you were on last February. It was called The Gas Station. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember do you remember it? 
remember saying that. I don't remember saying it on there, and I remember being on there, but not putting. You remember together. being on there last February? How would you describe the uh, the gas station podcast? It would probably be juice Jew centric, like focused on the JQ alt right guys. I'd call it a neo Nazi podcast. Oh, that's impossible. The Nazi Party was the uh, National Socialist Party of Germany that's been disbanded. Excuse me, Jim. So I said neo Nazi. What is a Nazi to you, though? Any anything? So I'm a white I, I, supremacist. Well, I think the I think I think the uh, the gas station podcast is neo Nazi. Okay, so what? They didn't kill as many as the communists, so I guess that's better than communists. <laughs> so it sounds like we agree that it's a neo Nazi podcast. I'm just okay. saying, okay, because you're, you're fair, not fair enough. Have a um, do you, so kind of thin here or some shit. Great, great. So, so while you were on the uh, the we agree neo Nazi podcast, you talked about your appearance on uh, I'm agreeing. On, Jesus. Uh, Bill Oh my God, Mr. Star Chamber. So I submit to the jury that if okay. this continues, millions will die. What a primitive huh? little TV movie view of history and human interactions you have. Yeah. Are they bad people? So, Is this what you're trying to do? Because you just sound like a nerd to me. I'd rather hang yeah, out with fair enough. people. So, uh, so while you were on the podcast, you uh, referred to your co-panelist, uh, Heavy D, and you, uh, uh, you said he was chimping out. Do you remember that? Yeah. So you were on the neo Nazi podcast and you said that uh, Heavy D, a black guy, was chimping. Yeah, you didn't have this, how McCarthy ate this entire like, yeah. line of It's very McCarthy. This is exactly what McCarthy did. I agree. Ta invited people on a podcast for a civil discussion. I'm just trying to pin you down on what actually happened. You try wrestling me. You, you won't pin me down. Pin down what? Pin me with guilt? Okay. Is that your sick kink? Oh, so, I'm so do you, so you agree it happened, right? And I feel good about I feel good about myself because I can put guilt on somebody. Yes, yeah. the little world you live in. So I th I think that if we were in a court of law and you were trying to sue me for defamation for calling you white supremacy, I think you just lost the case. I think if I can point to oh, you, no, on not, podcast, I don't think well, well, gas because gas station, I talk calling, to, calling someone I talk a, calling a black people, person a chimp. I think you just lost because that. Because I talk to these people and I don't come out and wag my finger and say, did I ever say on this podcast, white people are superior and should rule over others? Or did I just have a conversation with some people who well, might- I'll tell you something you did say on the podcast. You did say that uh, that the LA riots stopped uh, because they stopped rioting to stand in line for, for food stamps and welfare checks. You said well, that's, that's why the LA riots stopped. So they stopped because the checks came out, yeah. I was there. Yeah. So, so first of all, that uh, that the timeline disproves that because I I looked it up. The LA riots in 1992 after Rodney King they started on April 29th and they continued for six days. So there were actually more riots after the first of the month than before it. They continued to uh, May, May the. 4th. They probably uh they probably they stopped it for for uh, Star Wars Day May the fourth. I think what I mean what ultimately totally put the kibosh was they brought the fucking National Guard in. That was you a actually specifically contradicted that on, on, on the show. You said people think it was because they brought in the National Guard. The National Guard didn't do anything. It was the welfare check. That's, that's what I remember even seeing on television. I could be wrong. You okay. saw, you, what television show told you that the LA stopped because of, uh, of, of food stamps? I, I, I bet you. How about you? Want to bet me $10,000 I can find a friend who can come up with video from the news? <laughs> a friend? I, I want to see a video of it. Right. Saying with a friend who... Please. Okay. If you write okay. me one more time, I, I just want to, so you live. admit that that's not true. You admit that the timeline doesn't work, right? Because I, I think it's important to get that straight. I haven't looked at all the evidence. No. I, I okay. Admit, well, I you, it's very wrong. easy to look up the evidence. You can just you, welfare checks come out on the first of the month. You, you can look at when the riots about, started, and it just debunks you the story. Be wrong about race and IQ. Anyways, so you I are have, factually incorrect. I think it's important to get that because. I Think about the questions. mindset involved in that statement. I really want you to like reflect on it for a second. If you believe that's true, what you believe is that man. every black person in, in LA man. is a violent an animal who can only be stopped, can't be reasoned with, can only be stopped by giving them money. That's what that's what you're saying about black people when you say that statement on your neo-Nazi podcast. The rioters, yeah. Not black people in general. You you leap to these ridiculous false inferences. You're really inept at debating. You were specifically and citing the black population of LA. You were like, "Yeah, the, when, when black rioters that turned that turned me off of what I you call say liberalism." The entire black population of LA was rioting. Yeah. Okay. I just did think I, it's important to to because this is actually a really important. This is um this is an oft repeated uh, urban myth among white supremacists. If you Google this, uh, LA riots welfare, this comes up. There's a bunch of white supremacist sites. 
they point to these videos that don't come close to proving what their eyes think they see. It really, it shows a mindset when you say a statement like that. Would you think that's fair? Jim? Jim? Jim, we can't hear you again. <clears throat> Another technical difficulty, it would seem. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So do you think that's fair to say that, that saying a statement like that reveals a mindset? Jim. Yeah, Jim, we can't hear you again. Why, why did he mute himself? I don't understand. I'm not sure. He had me on the rope, so he was like, oh, you're a bad debater. You're really bad at this. I was on the rope, so I don't know why he cut out. It keeps, it keeps like, kicking itself off. Yeah, that's can you hear us. Me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Here, let's let's get to the video. You're trying to say he's a mindset thing, and it just doesn't exist. I don't have you, and you're also presenting me with questions that take tons of time to verify. And do you admit, like you're trying to, like this S and M game? What, what takes tons of time to do, verify? Do, do the evil? Well, what what happened is it stopped connecting my voice when I started Googling what you okay. were asking well, me about. Well, no, no, no. Okay. well you don't yeah. have to Google. I tell you what, Logic Guy, can you restate the um, the contention again, please, and we'll continue. Well, I think I made the point, and, and we can just move on. I just okay. I wanted to be sure to debunk this this racist white supremacist myth. I thought it was important to do that on air. I want to talk about something else. I'm going to upload a screenshot. The personal but, threat, uh, it goes, dude, it keeps going out. You're, you're coming in really clear right now. Yeah, you're coming in really clear. I'm gonna uh, upload another. Uh, this is a screenshot from uh, from this podcast uh, called "The Gas Station" that I watched yesterday. On uh, I watched it on BitChute, and if you in big in that, you'll see uh, charity stream with Jim Go. This was a charity drive. You were uh, raising money for. Um, all proceeds from this stream will be donated directly to our political prisoners, as well as the American Legal Defense Fund. Uh, so what's, uh, oh, where did Jim go? Jim? Hello? Uh, he just disappeared. Yeah, I think saw... he was getting ready for his dodecahedron attack. on. Because <laughs> I think he was, he really had me on the ropes. If you heard how he was talking, he was like, oh, you're really bad at this. Suck at debate. I'm going to own you. I was like, okay, Sorry. well, I guess. Too bad he got he got mysteriously cut off when that happened. Yes, I can see your messages, Jim. I mean, this is like it's a charity drive, so it's probably a good cause. So I think that the, the, the value, the importance here is that Jim's always like, oh, words. you're just saying words. Um, but a charity drive is not just words. I tell you what, let's, let's wait until he comes back in and then we'll... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was just trying to fill some dead air. No, that's cool. I wasn't trying to... That's okay, no, I understand. just want to keep it fair. A fair fight. Yep. Um... There we go. Hey, Jim. Can you hear me? Yes. We yes, can I can you. hear you. The oh, fuck? The sound goes up and down? That sucks. Okay, so um, okay, can so we just get back to where we were then and keep going, please? So I believe yeah, there's so some screenshots. Chad, Chad, sir, Chad, for one second. What all he's trying to do here is guilt by association. The mindset, like you're trying to this say. This is not guilt yeah, by almost, association. Don't, don't yeah, logic guy. Me. Let Jim let Jim make his point, and then we'll come what back to it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you that insecure that you can't let me get a sentence out? 
Let me fucking finish, you little dweeb. All you're trying to do here, as far as I can tell, I don't see any other endgame. Well, the mindset, because you claimed that people can read each other's minds. No, that's a primary logical fallacy. If you don't have the fucking honor to take me at my word when I tell you what I believe, you call people a coward? You're too fucking chicken shit to show your face to reveal your identity. I stand before the fucking world taking extremely unpopular opinions. It's fucking ludicrous to think I would ever half step. You you idiots think I'm a fucking Nazi anyway. It doesn't matter. No, the people. It's not to save face. Hold on. It's not to save face with you. Trust me. Uh, Trust the people me. on the podcast. If you don't actually believe I'm sincere in what I'm saying, I'm not sure. What can you do? Because it's just going, yes, you do. No, I don't. Right. Yes, you do. That's why it's can stupid you know, to think you can read mine. Because yep. it's unfalsifiable and it's unprovable. Let's talk about the charity stream. What's the charity stream? They were trying to raise money for people who had been jailed for some uh, street scuffles with Antifa. The, as the far as I understand. Used, the term they used is political prisoners. Okay. Do, do you know who any of them were? No. So you showed up to, a, a, by your own, you agree to this, an EO not cast for a stream, for a charity stream for for political prisoners, and you had no idea who any of them were. I was under the impression they were involved in a street scuffle, yeah. And See, it's my, me. hold I, on, I, don't, I don't, let me are. answer, let, please. Yeah, let, 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 let um, Jim answer, please, Logic. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got this. And I, I'm a little squirrel and I got this nugget. And what do you say about this? Just shut the fuck up for a minute and let me talk. Jesus Christ. They could raise money for whatever the fuck they want. If you, if you, if you invited me on a show and you're raising money to save the Communist Basket Weaving Association, and I don't give a fuck. Because I wasn't he... saying yes. These, I, don't, I didn't know the case enough. It's like, oh, you're asking me questions about topics and you're also raising money. Okay. I was under the impression, yeah. I'm pretty sure these, hold on, I'm pretty sure these were the guys from the Battle of Sacramento, where it was uh, Yvette Falarca and Antifa, and, I'm, and I could be wrong, I think those were the guys that were jailed, when they were outnumbered like 10 to 1. Well, well since you don't know. Hold on, geez, he doesn't know how to shut okay, up. Okay, let, let's let him finish his point, and then you can respond, Logic Guy, okay? He really doesn't know how to shut up, because he doesn't have a point, so he just, yeah, well, what about I've, this? I've stepped in, Batman, I'm, okay, Batman. listen, I've stepped in, you continue your point, and then, then he can respond. Okay. So you, you forget what you're talking about because he doesn't fucking let you talk. And if this, if those were the guys, because I watched footage from this encounter, the Battle of Sacramento, I'm pretty sure it was. If it was something else, yeah, I then I didn't know who the guys were. But if it was the Battle of Sacramento, these were guys who were jailed. I don't think Antifa was jailed. And all they did was, like, wipe the fucking floor. Hold on, okay, he's sending me the link. No, no, no that's, I'm just posting that while you're talking. You can take a look at it if you want, but... A nonprofit, a Victims well, of Legal not, Defense let's, Fund. Let's get to that. I mean, but I, I want to. You should send me this shit at first, so I can review it, because this it makes for a lot let's, of fucking dead air I, I and wanna, awkward uh, moments. Legal defense talk, for I make okay. A point before we talk about this, though, uh, criminal law, criminal about. defense lawyers. Because it doesn't you, say who the guys Jim, are that they were raising Jim, money for, though. So why did you send Jim, me this link? Jim, I want to make an important point about this because you've always said like, oh, what does it matter what people believe? What does it matter what people think? What does it matter what people say? But here, this isn't just words. This is a charity drive. This is you're, You are raising money for people who are in jail and you don't know who they are. And I think that that's a little irresponsible, especially given that this podcast is called uh, The Gas Station and it's on the, uh, the name of the, uh, the name of the Streamlabs is, uh, is Saren, something about Saren Gas. I, I don't know, man. I think you should have put it in a little search than none at all. Don't like, isn't that a fair point? Give me that. He makes a big deal about how I cut him off, but like he just sort of filibuck. Give me that. Jim, we can't hear you again. Technical difficulties seem to seem to keep cropping up. Yeah. Oh man, he loves Skype. He sent me some stats on Skype, and Skype is better, he says. But you can't live stream with Skype. You can't live stream with Skype. And you and I aren't having a problem.
He likes Skype a lot. Yeah, I kind of feel like if we're going to keep having these technical difficulties, you know what? I mean, we've been going for a long time here. Yeah, it's too much dead air. I think we're maybe going to have to draw things to a to a close then, um, if everyone's right, happy to do so. I, I want to make a closing point, but he's not here. But I think it's important let, let, to. Let, uh, let's see if we can get Jim back in. Jim, if you can try and sort this out, okay, we'll make closing point. Okay. And then we'll leave it at that, I think. He's probably right. You probably can live stream with OBS. It's... I don't know, though. I mean, this works really well for, for us, though. Hey, I'm gonna, I wonder if Jim's using headphones. Sorry about the uh, dead air viewers, but um, Jim's had a number of technical difficulties throughout the stream. I mean, uh, there were a few a few points I did want to get to because I looked up the uh, that group they're get they're giving to, and I thought there was quite a number of notable notable things about them that I wanted to get to. But I mean, we pretty much said our piece i think i think yeah we've kind of made the, as much points as we can on that you know um, yeah i feel like people can make up their own minds ba based on based on what they've seen here you know let's uh let's put it up to chat what, what do they say who won this debate We don't need to do a poll. Just, just type, type the name of the person that you think. Yeah. Do you think uh, Jim is a white supremacist or am I full of shit? Which is it? Okay. I really, I really just want to get Jim in here so you can both make a final, you know, minute, two minute long statement, and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that might be tough on the two minutes. We'll see. Okay, well, maybe we'll increase it out to five minutes. No, 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 no. I, I think two minutes is, is is a very good amount of time. I think we should hold ourselves to two minutes. Okay. I know you wanted to uh to not go on too long. What are, what are we at? We're at just over an hour and a half. I think that's a pretty nice stream. I mean, it would have been nice if there wasn't so much dead air. But uh, yeah, this is my first okay. my first appearance on your show. Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, it is um yeah, thanks, Logic. It's a long time coming. To be honest, you're obviously a friend of the show. Um, yeah, yeah. You've been very supportive yeah, of I... my um my creative endeavors so far. <laughs> and I definitely want it. Want, would like to be on more, but it's just the the time difference doesn't really end up working out for us. Yeah. I, well, I you actually go. had Jim's to back. Jim's back. Let's, let's crack on. Right, so, so yep. Jim. It's so sorry. I mean, that your volume goes up and down. It's it's mystifying. Let's just do close. Hey, Jim, are you using headphones by by the way? No. Okay, because uh, sometimes headphones make me drop drop out. It's really strange. One, but let's one just do thing, one, my sound seemed to go out when I was making this point. You sent me a link to a press release that talks about an attorney named Augustus Invictus. It doesn't say anything about who these defendants were. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. We don't know who they are, and it, the site doesn't tell us who was uh, who was there a year ago. And you apparently don't know and didn't ask, so it's a mystery. But uh, I've been looking at some of the uh, the people they defend, and I gotta tell you, they're they're unsavory types. Uh, they defended a guy by the name of I'm gonna look this up so I don't get it wrong. Or they're, sorry, they don't. Def they're, they're not a law office, so they don't defend anyone. But they were. Uh, no, Augustus they, Invictus is a lawyer, actually. But uh, yeah, and he's actually in, he's actually he's arrested recently yeah, for. Yeah. Uh, he was arrested recently for spousal abuse and kidnapping. And I know that you have strong opinions on the charge of kidnapping because of like stuff that's happened in your past, 
But this was a gun was involved, and she, he he drove her over state lines. So that's kidnapping. Like the word for that is kidnapping. That's interstate. That's not a political I mean, prison. That's interstate kidnap. Well, here's the thing: you don't know if if he there. Here's the thing: I thought in my case, no, it was a crime what was committed. I think they went after me aggressively. Uh, no, no, I, Jim, I'm sorry. I, I honestly didn't mean to come up to, to bring. Was because to of who I was. And I think, I, and what I heard, and I can't quantify this, when I was in the pokey, I heard that the yeah, Germans. We don't have to get involved in your. Uh, oh, no, the German system. Here's, hear me out, though. I think this is important. The German system, if there's evidence of a crime, they have to prosecute. I like that. In America, they'll prosecute more readily if they don't like you. And that, that was true against blacks for centuries. I think, you know, if you're like an unsavory type, which according to you is someone who doesn't have the opinions that you like, then <laughs> they should go after you. Yes. Not sure, but I think he was like a pagan or something. <clears throat> uh, so anyways, uh, another guy they defended is a uh, guy, Richard Tobin, who the name sounded familiar to me, but I couldn't place it. I had to look it up. This was the guy who was defacing synagogues with swastikas this is a guy who was accused of doing that that's uh -huh. why you... yes that's true yeah no I, one I knows think, the, I think the he difference might have, uh, confessed to some of it though doesn't deserve legal representation I, I definitely do believe that's a great point and i definitely do believe that everyone because uh, i think i think this might be the only guy it's who would different take it. when when you're contributing to a fundraiser for them though that's a different thing and calling them tribute anything i appeared on it like so what I don't, I, you know, I, I didn't contribute. I didn't discuss the case. I didn't say, Hey, great that you're doing that. So, Oh, you're doing that too. Okay. Well, Let's anyway, do, uh, what do you want to ask me about? Like it's, it's, this is all just really sloppy, impotent guilt by association shit you're tossing. So let's do keep, closing keep, statements. Keep coming. Let's do What's closing that? statements. Let, since we're cut, there's okay. so much dead air. Let's just do closing yeah, yeah, statements. Yeah, just to sort of explain, you know, I, I intended for this to go on for an hour. There's been a lot of dead air. So if we just do closing statements and we'll, we'll leave it uh, at that. Two minutes, Man. two minutes. I know nothing about you. I know you probably hate people like me or that you think are like me, but good job in uh, moderating. Thank you. Okay, so um, who wants to go for, because of the technical difficulties, I mean, yeah, maybe um, Jim can go yeah, first. Jim, do you want to go first? And like I said, this it's sloppy guilt by association. I've never said these things. You're saying because I ta even talked to these people. That's extremely, there were people who talked to communists we got accused of being communists. It's the same thing. I mean, it's oh, so that so just because, like, he appeared on a podcast where they were raising funds for somebody he knew nothing well, about, didn't story. even discuss it as far as I fucking remember, was unaware of who they were. I don't remember really saying anything about it. Then I'm right. He's a white supremacist, and this naturally leads to death and destruction. That's Jim, a really I'm sorry. No, no, logic guy. If you we're doing closing statements. Sorry. Let Jim do his, you can do yours, okay? I, I apologize. What I see, though, what I see is he's trying to say some sick things go on in this man's mind, sick things that don't go on in my mind. Therefore, I'm a superior person, and I feel good by putting this person down, and I wouldn't feel bad if bad things happened to this person. This is what I'm getting from a gut instinct. I don't know if that's what you're thinking, but I know a lot of people who act this way across the board. When the right does it, if they're going after degenerates or homosexuals or whatever, but like it's the same fucking witch hunting, I'm a good guy, you're a bad guy thing. The Christians do. It's why I hate Christians. It's why I hate the social justice people because they they act like Christians without God. It's the same shit. So if you, you think you've made a case that I'm a bad person, then let's not trade Christmas cards and we can call it a day. Okay, fantastic. So if that's Sounds the end good. of your closing statement, Logic, if you want to do yours and then we'll, we'll end it there. Yes. For the record, I never said Jim was a bad guy. I said he was a white supporter. Uh, all right. On Jim's unregistered appearance, Thaddeus Russell introduced him saying, I'm supposed to disavow Jim, but I'm not going to. I wish more people allowed themselves to be challenged by Jim Goad's ideas. I find that statement to be so preening. Challenged and ideas are doing a lot of work there. It's a cloying, preening statement. But there's something else he said that I do agree with. He said, I wish people listened to the incredible stories of his life. Jim does have stories worth hearing. Read Jim's Goad's writing. He's an interesting guy with something to say. Do so with an open mind, yes, but also do so with open eyes. Don't let him piss in your face and tell you it's raining. 
If you write for an alt-right publication for 10 years, if you defend Hitler's Mein Kampf, if you go to, alt to an alt-right podcast called The Gas Station and talk about blacks chimping out, if you do a fundraiser for neo-Nazi political prisoners, then you can't complain when someone calls you a white supremacist. Are we really supposed to buy this feigned outrage? I don't believe that Jim is aghast that anyone listening to his appearance on The Gas Station and found some part objectionable. That's what I find most objectionable about Jim's argument, the unwillingness to take responsibility for what he has said for his own words. Okay, well, that brings everything to a close. Um, thank you very much for both coming on. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, thanks for having me. This was great. And Jim, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank, thanks to both of you. Um, it's much appreciated. And um, I'm going to leave the voice chat now. Um, I don't suppose you guys are going to want to continue chatting any further, so I suppose you'll probably. No, I think it would well. be for the best to, uh, and you know, we have we're, we can slide into each other's DMs anytime we, want, and uh, I'm always willing to talk. Fantastic. So yeah, thank you very much, um, Jim. Thank you, and um, all, all the best to both of you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, Jim, if you've got a final word you want to leave off on, that's that's fine. Just a quick final word. Uh, I don't think he's there. Okay, no problem. Yeah, thanks very All right. much. All the best. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for everyone in the chat. Thanks, bye-bye. Well, there we go.